my name's Eric Powell, and I, uh, I'm a comic book artist. I do a book called The Goon uh, from Dark Horse Comics. And as a kid, I was just always, uh, I was always drawing something and, and making up some kind of story to go with it, you know? Um, and then I got into, I was into comics when I was a small kid, but then when I was in uh, like junior high and high school, I, I got back into comics again and just felt like uh, it was, uh, it made the most sense for me to try to do this because that's, those are the things I like to do. I like to, to uh, draw and, uh, and uh, write stories. And it, it just seemed like the perfect, you know, combination of the two. So uh, I, I just really pursued it. Sent in a lot of submissions to companies and uh, started uh, getting some small work with uh, little small independent publishers, and it kind of went from there. It's, it's hard. You gotta you gotta stay focused and uh, and have discipline to get up every morning when you're you know you're working from your home or whatever. You, you gotta. Uh, you gotta find something interesting in what you're doing, you know, because if not, you're just gonna kind of slack off, and, you know, <laughs> and your work doesn't get done. So, uh, you gotta stay disciplined and, and uh, you know, keep your passion up on, you know, what you're doing. I think if you wanted to get into this business, first you have to realize that, uh, it's, it's just like any other entertainment industry where there's more people trying to get into it than there are jobs. And, uh, you know, you should be realistic and, and, and know that it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. But if you, if you have the talent and you have the passion to do it, you shouldn't stop. You know, you should definitely, you know, go for it and put all your heart and soul into it and try to accomplish it. But if, if you're not going to give it 110% and, you know, you're, you're going to, like, not try to stick to a deadline or anything like that, then you should probably find something else because you're not going to, you know, you're probably not going to be successful in this. Uh, my name is Scotty Young and I am a cartoonist. I uh, worked for Marvel for about nine years, uh, drawing Spider-Man, X-Men, Human Torch, Fantastic Four. Uh, currently, uh, we're adapting the Wizard of Oz novels. I've just been drawing forever as far as that. As job-wise, I just went to conventions, showed my portfolio around, and and uh, they they gave me a job. As soon as I started drawing as a kid, I thought this is what I want to do for a living. Uh, and then every year, I just keep hoping that I can, they'll still give me jobs so I can keep doing it. And it really is just making sure that this is the most important thing, you know? You just gotta set priorities. If this is what you gotta do, you gotta take it serious. I mean, it's a hobby type thing, but if you wanna do it for a living, you gotta do it day in, day out, hour after hour, every minute of free time you have, you gotta do it. Just draw, draw, draw. I mean, the more you draw, the better you get. The better you get, the more people are gonna notice it. Come to conventions, get online, start a website, you know, just promote yourself. But the key, number one thing is just draw. Uh, the artwork speaks for itself. Well, I'm a cartoonist. My name is Sergio Rodones. I've been with my magazine since 1962. And I do comics. Besides that, I do Gruda Wonder, which is a very stupid barbarian. And uh, now I'm doing The Simpsons. I'm doing writing and drawing The Simpsons, a comic. And uh, freelance, do all kinds of uh, other comics. It's, it's a very strange career. So if you start as a kid, like I did, I started from the beginning, since I was in elementary school, I was a kid next to you drawing in class and the teacher getting mad at you. And there's a lot of people who go to art school and they learn how to draw and then they become artists. So it's many beginnings, but I started, I don't even remember when I started, because it was, I have always been drawing. I started selling in high school. That's what I became a professional. Selling the gag cartoons different magazines and stuff. You always draw for fun, but suddenly it takes it takes your life away. Suddenly that's what you do for a living, without even knowing it. I went to college, I studied architecture, but I was doing cartoons all the time. So never was never was attracted to building a house or anything. It was fun in college, but I was a cartoonist already. The work ethic is, is, is very basic. 
you deliver in time and you do the best you can. No matter what, they, you arrange a price. You don't draw for the price, you do the best you can, try to get whatever is, is fair. But you don't do less because you are get paid less. You know, that's basically a, 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 an ethical work, an ethical way to work. And doing what they want, the client wants. In my case, mostly all the work is done by me, on, on my own. My own crew is mine, so I do whatever I want to. So the ethical part of it is that I do what I think is the decent thing to do. I go from there. The way for them to start is practice. Taking the career seriously. Like a doctor, he's a brain surgeon, suddenly doesn't decide, oh, I'm going to operate somebody and, and take his brains off. Same thing with cartooning, you have to be the best. Because if you want to be a professional, you are taking the job from somebody else. So you have to be better than that. You have to learn everything that is possible. Perspective, anatomy, uh, storytelling, a lot of things, and take it seriously. This is Billy Tan. I draw a comic book. I broke in in uh, 94. So it's been, uh, yeah, it's been quite a while now. I, I was actually my major, I majored in marketing. You know, it's, you know, comic is just something that you like. Yeah, basically, I, I like art, and uh, I saw that comic has a marketing. Comic book was pretty popular when uh, Image first started up. You know, they were selling pretty, pretty good, and uh, you know, I saw you know those guys, Jim Lee, Max Vestry, the, the article founder, they were making you know, lots, lots of money, and you know, I figured I'd give it a try. I just work hard, be able to do a lot of things, be able to draw a lot of things, be able to tell stories, and. Before you show your stuff to the editor, you know, just you know, maybe you can yeah, come to the convention and you know, show it to the artists, you know, and, and get opinions first, you know, for, for how they could improve their work before they show it to the editors. The editor is the one that's you know that's going to give you job. I'm Jim Starlin, and I uh, used to write and draw comics. I don't do much of it anymore, but uh, I did Warlock, Captain Marvel, Thanos, Greed. Red Star, a few other things. Uh, my father worked for Chrysler. I used to come home with a lot of tracing paper and pencils. I traced the characters out of the comics. And when I came to New York, uh, Marvel was going from doubling their line of books. And so they were hiring anybody who would come across state line and hold a pencil. So that was 40 years ago, and I've been working off and on on it since then. Just getting the discipline to draw every day. I mean, that basically is what it came down to before I started working at it. Once you start working at it, you sort of have to draw every day because you have deadlines. Uh, the biggest thing is building the work ethic and continuing and practicing and looking at stuff. Uh, that's what being an artist is, looking and working. Draw things other than comics, look at things other than comics. Uh, come to conventions, see things, you know, talk to editors and what have you, show them your work. Uh, and then once you get into it, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, work in things other than comics also, because you'll eventually uh, go out of style and have to go do something else. But uh, if you spread yourself around, uh, you know, it works out best. I am Mike Mignola, creator of Hellboy. I drew comics for 10 years for Marvel and DC and, and finally got to the point where I, I realized I wanted to make up my own character so I got to draw exactly what I you know, want to draw. I read comics so I knew what comics looked like and I, I knew I wanted to work in that business so I just learned from looking at comics. It's a lot of work. I mean, I still work seven days a week. I've worked seven days a week for about 25 years now. Uh, comics is a lot of work. It's fun, but it's a lot of work. So you got to really love what you're doing to do this for a living. The conventions are good. I mean, you go to a convention, you show your work to other artists and stuff, and they can give you some, some you know, advice. But, you, you know, you look at, at comics, and you see how they're done and uh, you just gear yourself that way. But it's better, you know, art school is a good idea, any kind of drawing classes. The, the more you draw, the better you're gonna be as a comic book artist. Guys who just learn from, you know, copying comics, they don't make the best artists. We've been going for a while.
out, VS is here, and we back for this round. A couple homies at my A couple homies on the ground, and for them we hold it down, and forever running wild.